My name is Jan from Fuado. I'm the director of the Creative Arts Council for Ghana. We are under the Ministry of Tourism and Arts and Culture, and I'd like to welcome you to our second phase of the Art for All project in Tete Kwashe. The Art for All project was established earlier this year, as also as a, a footnote as from the President's manifesto of beautifying the city. Our first phase is in Ako Aje. Our second phase is in Tete Kwashe. As we have seen that we have spanned from the underneath of the underbridge to two sides of the underbridge. In conceptualizing this mural, one had to think about all of their complex histories and then also how we position them. If you pay close attention, on one side we show the women dressed in their traditional outfits. Um, as part of the research, we use images that have been taken by Basel missionaries from Switzerland. You know, they documented a lot of um, noble women in the south and in the east and also in the western region. If you look at the designs, well, you know, you, you would see some um, patterns from the north, you would see some symbols from the Gan culture. We also use a lot of um, the Vever symbols from the Volta region. So we pulled in a lot of um, different design elements from the different parts of Ghana to create the murals. A lot of our research had to consider these forms of representation, how women held themselves, how they dressed, what looked noble, um, what looked presentable, or how women presented themselves um, during the 1800s. A lot of these photos are from the early to late 1800s. We took these outfits and placed them on these women who were born years, decades after these sort of like costumes uh, were in fashion. So it's actually like a time traveling piece, taking costumes from 1800s and placing it on individuals and women who were born in the 1900s into in the late 1900s. Also, the fact that we represent them in masquerade costume, which is the prime representation of like West African mythology and, and spirituality. There's a huge reference for the masquerade culture throughout West Africa, be it in Ghana, Benin, Nigeria, all the way into Mali, Senegal, and, and actually in Central, in Central Africa. So in considering all of this, we had to sort of represent them in this larger than life form, but then also be able to put them forward in ways that allowed them or allow their images to be seen through these um, historical and mythological um, prisms or perspectives. And then also making decisions on color, what colors work, what they will mean, and also how that will impact the manner in which the, the public will interact with the work. because. Largely, we did this so it's an art exhibition that the whole city of Accra has access to. The theme that we have in the phase two is the mythologies and the folklore of our society and our culture, represented by the founding women of Ghana. Their silent legacies and their strength in history is demonstrated from our artists, and we welcome you to come and see and enjoy and share. Collaborating with Afwabe has always been open mind, idea development. Afwabe always gives you the tax to think aloud, like think outside the box. So it gives you the platform to be very creative. And then working with Afwabe has been a wonderful journey so far. First, we appreciate the Creative Art Council for this project and Accra.org and I'll say to my crew and myself. Well today is our last day. Um, it's been eight weeks of vigorous painting, designing, um, scheduling mishaps, um, everything that could go wrong. <laughs> everything that could go wrong went wrong but we still persevered and I'm glad that um, we're finally done. And the general public can interact with um, this magnificent, iconic piece. Uh, that really looks at the, the silent legacies of these amazing women and the significance of masquerade culture in uh, society. For some reason, when we think about pre- and post-independence Ghana, we, we reduce it to a, to a few people, to a few men. 
all right? These women also participated in shaping the history and the independence legacy of this country. So this is our tribute to them. This is our, our shout out to these mag magnificent women who have transformed um, Ghana as a society. This wouldn't have been possible without the Creative Art Council of Ghana. Um, yes, we appreciate their support for making this possible. This particular project has been almost three years in the making, you know. Like designing it took like two years. We had shopped it around different institutions, but it was the Creative Art Council that finally picked it up and um, found the funding to make it possible. So we'd like to um, send our biggest uh, thanks to them. Um, Ayawa Soul West uh, Municipality um, for their support. Yes, and also um, everybody that's contributed to making this happen. The whole crew, Afwa Bay, Afwa Bay, Afwa Bay. Massive. You guys are amazing. Uh, you've done significantly well in translating this design. Um, our documenting crew, everyone, everyone. If I, if I forgot anyone, don't hold it against me. Everybody that participated in this project, um, I have immense respect and my sincere gratitude goes out to them.